Welcome to a new episode of Unequal Opinions, where we debate all the shit that you don't care about, but that you really do care about, um, and where all opinions are unequal. Um, and we're going to, today we're going to do something um, that I think every, every, like, I guess, man over 18 cares about. <laughs> um, and don't, debate don't, don't, our, women care about this shit a lot, too, man. Yeah, them too. Yeah, but for sure, and man. People get mad. Sure. <laughs> and remember mad. there's there's more than two it's not just ma- girl and boy there's a lot of others that might enjoy and i don't oh, mean but, others in the sense of other than YouTube anything and just saying about half. inclusive i did not mean that in an uninclusive way so i apologize yeah, don't and i would just like to say don't get us growing bro <laughs> i don't want to be that we are here to talk about like what are our top 10 like favorite marvel movies yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt like man. music should have played. Nah, look, fam, <laughs> listen. Look, I already know I'm gonna get killed half James's the time. James's list is shit. He he prefaced <laughs> it by saying his list is shit. Good. Look, I have different likes than normal people. I know it's bad me. ones. You, Wasn't you it like when, we, when, we used to, when we used to you like the Raiders? When we used to do nope. uninformed <laughs> two racist organizations. No. All our words no. just no. bad. The um look, it's I just remember when we talk about movies. When we're talking about movies and stuff, James is the one that used to drop Black Knight. Yeah, that Black Knight when Martin Lawrence references hey, on the podcast. Movie. It's like, hold on, what? I did. He doesn't understand I the Goodfellas references, the Godfather references. Not. It's now nah, I got a Black Knight line. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ray McNulty. <laughs> Who I the never fuck read. remembers that? I, I, McNulty. I, I, he was I, like, I, ain't, ain't you talking about the dude from the wild? I was like, no, nah, Black Knight. <laughs> That's that's a preview that's, of James's list. Yeah, that's yeah. James. Um, but we're, we're not. I mean, there are what twenty five movies now. Twenty five Marvel movies now, technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the um, twenty three and the twenty five Black MCU. Widow and Shang Chi, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And to be clear, we are doing just MCU, not you know, including like the old X Men movies or Blade or anything like that, because Blade would definitely be in my top ten. I just want that to be Logan known. would be in um, my top three, probably. And I cannot fucking wait until Blade comes out. They haven't given any new information on that, and it's upsetting me deeply. It yeah, is hurting me. They had me. to push oh, all the MCU back because Letitia Wright don't want to get vaccinated. <laughs> that you is not why. First. That is not why. But they did push all the movies back, and that How upset. The fuck, me. we going to do this now? <laughs> <laughs> and that upset me. But yeah, so okay, so James, we're going to start with you. So we're just doing, you know, we're going to count. I guess count up. Um, going starting, we're going to start at ten. Uh, and so, what is your number ten? Thor Ragnarok. Oh shit, you right. Now, fuck your fucking list. Because oh, like, what? You. What? What? You. Like, what? What do you I mean? See, I told you that's, <laughs> that's top five MCU. All right. Well, it's ten to me. Hold okay? on, I just I gotta ask this before you go any further. Is Thor: The Dark World on your list? No. Okay, just making sure because I'm about to end this shit. Come now. on, cuz. <laughs> Yeah, so is there. Justify your ten. Justify your ten, James. Hmm? Justify. It. I need. I need to know why. Why is it ten? Because there's not movies I like better. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I legit like switched the list around. I mean, I moved it from eight to ten like five minutes ago. So. Okay. Ah, so you made a mistake five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Like you, you made the mistake. You went in the opposite direction of correcting the mistake. No, no, you no, went no. the wrong Look, way. I'll say this. I'll say this. Just wait until we get to the next couple. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's to me, Ragnarok has to be at a minimum five. Minimum. Like at a minimum. Until you see number five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait to see it. I know. Uh, I can't to wait to see your reaction. Like when I said it, I was like, oh fuck. Here Is we go. Aquafina What's your there? favorite MCU character? <laughs> no, she's actually all right. You know what? I was gonna have Shang Chi on the list. I've not seen Shang Chi, and I know it's no. not in the top ten. No, 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 no. I actually enjoyed the movie. Just like, and I'll, I'll talk about that like at some point, whenever. But I hate how Aquafina, like that whole like shit where she uses like the black scent or whatever, and that shit annoys me. So that's why I, I didn't even like put it on top ten. I, um, I thought it was good, but. I haven't seen it. Segwaying 
great segue. So 10 for me is Shang-Chi. Um, and this is a temporary placement because for me, <laughs> because for me, replay value matters a lot. And I like I haven't I haven't been able to sit with it like over years and like put it on fucking background, watch it and anything like that. So it doesn't have that replay value yet. I don't, well, I don't know if it has it. Um, but I really enjoyed Shang-Chi. It was it was like it's easily one of the best um, MCU origin stories. Um, and to me anyway, um, better than, well, I guess you'll see what it's better than, um, <laughs> to me, but, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a top, I'll say three, four, uh, MCU origin story, in my opinion. Mm. 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 k No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's I, your go. Like, here's the thing. The Shang-Chi thing, I haven't seen it, so I can't really say that much. I just know that it's going to be hard for Shang-Chi to make this. I am thinking Eternals might creep in by the end of the year, and I know Spider-Man will uh, be in my top ten by the time that comes out. Eternals? Yeah. Eternal, I think Eternals is going to be really, really dope. I, I, I think it's going to be ass. Really? Chloe Zhao, I, I, the director? I have very I just, little hope for it. I just I trust that director, and I think that, like... Uh, I'm not mistaken. It is Chloe Zhao because she did not do Shang Chi. Yeah. Whatever. So um, I, I just I, I think it'll I, I think it'll be really good. And that cast, I mean, maybe they're I doing too much. Angelina Jolie and Selma Hayek being in the movie to me is all I need to know. I mean, Sel- Selma Hayek and her, they're in there. Yeah, but I don't think they would be in a trash movie at this point. That, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, the checks are Angelina pretty dope. Needs the check. Think about it. Angelina, Selma, great. <laughs> love though. Love them. They don't really have anything like a lot going on. Wasn't for she them. in Wild Wild West? Who? Which one? The first one with Will Smith. No, I'm the saying first like first Wild Wild West. Thelma. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I, I didn't check out the sequel, James. Did you? <laughs> I meant Thelma or Angelina. Who are you I've asking? Seen <laughs> There's a there's a more than a lot James play bump Wild Wild West in the car today. <laughs> <laughs> doing the Cisco parts. <laughs> All right, my number ten. Yeah, Loveless was a was a great villain. Oh, Jesus Christ, my number ten, my number ten, and I I think people might consider this low, but I Spider Man Homecoming, and the reason Spider Man Homecoming is I love this movie, and like I Michael Keaton is a dude that can do like no wrong in my mind, um, and I loved him as far as a villain goes. But to me, the Spider-Man movie, I, I just don't feel as though Spider-Man has hit its peak yet. I always feel like there's something else coming. It, and especially when you look at Spider-Man Homecoming and looking out at all the Spider-Man properties now. Like, if we did all the Spider-Man movies, it gets tough to me when you're looking at the first one with uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, the Spider-Man 2. Not to mention, Into the Spider-Verse changed a lot of shit for me as far as my level of where it is that I need Spider-Man to be at this point. I think <laughs> Uh, I think personally that Into the Spider Verse is the best Spider Man film ever made. I period, agree. like n- bar none. Yep. Um, and so, but I think Homecoming is probably in that top five somewhere. I don't. To your point, like it's top three probably. I don't know, but top five uh, as far as just Spider Man. Right. Are and then looking at all of it overall, like I, I once again very enjoyable movie. Appreciated it more than Far From Home. Just think it's a better flick than Far From Home. Um, even yeah. though I really like Jake Gyllenhaal, and I'm wearing my Edith glasses right now. But uh, I, I legit bought them. Um, <laughs> and their prescription costs a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming, number 10. Okay, I like I like that. So that's where we are with 10. Um, I'll go, I'll start off with nine. Just cool. based off what I was saying. And number nine for me is Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> um, I like this placement. <laughs> it's a pretty good origin story. I loved it Um, as far as like, counting it within like other spider-man movies i just told you guys how i felt about it um but i think like it was a really good origin story without being a a complete origin story because we kind of like we were introduced uh to spider-man and mcu via uh civil war um and then so like we didn't have to it's it's the first like first spider-man film where we don't have to get get into uncle ben like they rarely ever fucking talk about uncle ben and i fucking love that i'm so glad because like after having to deal with that with Toby and fucking Andrew, like, bro, like, I don't give a fuck about Uncle Ben. Like, bro, like, let's let's get over it. Like, he died. Like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, rest in peace, Uncle Ben. But I didn't need to see Uncle Ben's death or anything <laughs> again, <laughs> period. Um, so, Mar- yeah, so it's number nine for me as far as the MCU is concerned. And Marissa Tomei is so great wow. as Aunt Matt. The best and she, Aunt- 
like there, there are two people that the MCU have brought in in roles that are forever crushes for me, and it's uh, Marissa Tomei and Winona Ryder. Just um, forever, forever, forever in my heart. Sorry. You're klepto. You're klepto. I I've dated kleptos. <laughs> Maybe it's a, it's a, there we go. Hmm. It tracks. All right, James. I'm so interested to hear what your number nine is based oh, off of what your number ten was. Fuck. Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Yes. Okay. I got one that you guys didn't kill before. Woo. No, I, I want to bitch slap you. Fuck. <laughs> It's a top ten. It's a top I just want to hear. I, here's the thing. I'm not reacting until I hear his justification. If he says there are eight movies I like more than it, I'm gonna get angry. So tell me what what do you think? Oh, there are eight <laughs> movies I like more than it. Get angry. <laughs> <laughs> but not nah, like um, it's none of like the main like characters that I really wanted to see anyway. So it was like you got you guys did great for like what you had to work with, but it's cool. That's what it is to me. Like I didn't really care. I wasn't invested in the movie. In my opinion. It it has one of the best soundtracks um ever. Um that's all I'll say. Um I won't do it. I have a you movie know. on here who has a better soundtrack, but we'll keep going. You don't. No, you don't. You can't. Okay. <laughs> we all know what he's gonna say, and it's not true. What? You're gonna say Black Panther, and it's not true. Okay. It, it, it's not. <laughs> <Black Panther. laughs> What's next? It's not. <laughs> I, you know what? To be honest, I didn't even listen to the the fucking soundtrack, but that doesn't matter to me because it's not a part of the movie. It's definitely part. The point of that movie. Hold on, it's it it, hold on, more than any other MCU movie. It, it plays it, into a plot point in the fucking in the movie. movie. <laughs> I don't care. Like you're just saying shit. I don't care about. I don't care. Look, let me just get my shit off and just you go ahead. You made your top ten. And you're saying you don't care a lot. <laughs> just, I don't yeah. care about the shit you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> about my list. All right. Okay. Continue. Right. What's my number, number nine. nine you know? My number nine is what James thinks is the best soundtrack, and I'm going Black Panther. Now, Black Panther to me, and I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this one. <clears throat> Looking back on Black pa- Black Panther, when I saw the movie itself and initially, and I'll never forget the night, the premiere night, going there with all the dashikis and the the black families and er- that shit was dope. Like that, that it um, felt. It was Look dope in the as line. shit. No, we weren't. We we in we in the movie theater in Virginia, seeing the white people go and play bowl, going bowling, and they looking and seeing all the cheekies in the line, they get a little uncomfortable. It felt good, okay. It just felt good. Um, I really, really love this movie, but there are a couple things that bother me to a to 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 a degree in which I can't forgive it, and it would be higher if they didn't kill the best character in the movie at the end of the movie. Like right now, especially we're looking hindsight. I know nobody knew, but with the passing of Chadwick, rest in peace. The idea that you could still have a Killmonger in this universe right now, to me, it's they they killed off not only Killmonger but Ulysses Claw for no fucking reasons. Like to me, those are two characters that should still exist in the MCU. And to me, it's it, it's just it's hard pressed for me to forgive those two mistakes. Where you even have the director himself has said. Yeah, if I could do it over again, I wouldn't have done that. Like, it's just, to me, they're colossal fuck-ups. But it's a great movie. Killmonger's storyline is incredible. Um, what they did as far as the Wakanda building, I want to see Black Panther 2. It's probably one of my most anticipated MCU movies just because I love the world of Wakanda and I want to be there again. But um, I, I can't forgive getting rid of Claw and, um, and Killmonger. I mean, they can okay. always come back. I hate when they I'm, do that shit. Like, I mean, I get, I get right now because we're dealing with the, what the, the multiple timelines and all that shit, the multiverse. Mm-hmm. They can come back. I don't <laughs> want them to do it in cheap ways. I think there's a proper way that you could do this, and I, I trust. Why am I blanking on uh, uh, the director's name? Creed. Uh, oh, Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler. Right. Shit, I know Ryan Coogler. My guy, Slum, uh, uh, Fruitvale Station. Like, I, I love Coogler. Um, I'm really excited for what Black Panther two or what else he has in store. But Black Panther to me just felt like a great movie, very impactful for what it meant. Don't kill those two characters. I I understand where you're coming from. I disagree, but like I I think just from a story perspective, from an acting perspective, from like those two things, like it's one of the the it's a little bit higher for me. I'm not gonna get mad at it because like nine, based on where I have it, it's not like super. I'm not a lot higher than you, but 
like I think it's a little bit better than nine, but we'll see what you're. Right. But see, the, um, if you want me to do number eight, because this is the one that I was struggling with, and I kept going back and forth on. Like I switched, um, I switched did, nine and eight nonstop. Did, huh? did, did Kim do eight yet? No, no I, haven't, I haven't. Done, uh, you did I nine. Done. Yeah, I did nine. nine. You did yeah. nine. Yeah, right, I thought we're cool. playing around with the order. That's yeah, all I was yeah, saying. Yeah, you're right, you're from right. a segue standpoint. Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. My number, uh, if you're okay with me, really. right. yeah, we got James's nine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy with a soundtrack he doesn't care about because he doesn't understand what music is. Um, my number eight is a movie. A, number eight is a movie that I think a lot of people are overrating, honestly. Captain America: The Winter Soldier, and to me, this and Black Panther to me were the ones with the two movies that I keep going back and forth with. To me, The Winter Soldier is a really good movie. It's a really, really dope movie, but there was a lot of like. People that think they're smarter than they actually are when talking about movie shit happening with it, when they kept talking about how much of an espionage movie it was, or how, oh my God, you could see that this is like Pelican Brief, or it was like fucking James Bond. It was like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, it's it's just not that. Like, I can pull an espionage movie off the shelf and watch it and say, okay, I can see that they were inspired by this. It's not that. It doesn't mean it's not an enjoyable movie, but I think that there was a lot of pseudo intellectual nonsense that happened around that movie because tonally it felt a bit different than the other ones that had come out and with that i think it just went a little they they overrated it just a little so bit. you you like have it worse just because people like it no so. but that's see that's the thing is it like i i went but like i said i went back and forth with the with the no I, that's my justification for saying that i understand why people might get upset that okay, i okay. have it this far back this and Black Panther to me are two movies that I think are really, really good. It's just when everybody else is fawning over them to that degree, I don't fawn over them the same way that everybody else is on my list. Really? Yeah. You... I know. Do you okay, but before we continue, just real quick, do you have Captain America the first Avenger on your list? Yeah. Okay. All right. God check, damn it! Check, please. Check, check, please. Check somebody. I I somebody. I got James, you gotta man. take these seriously, man. At least attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. The feeling I got when it first came out, like it's I like that one more than Winter Soldier. James, it's time for a rewatch for you, buddy. Is Civil it's War on your list too? Yeah. He's got both. This is not. The you know, you I don't so need to justify my shit no more. I'm done. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? I think it's your turn, James. <laughs> All right. Number eight is yeah. the first Avengers movie. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'll, I'll, okay, so I'll, I'll say something about top that. Three look I'll say like, something. Man. I'm not going to like kill you for that but <laughs> my thing about that is it hasn't really aged well at all that fucking captain america suit was fucking terrible it looks like something you could buy from party it, City. Was, it was not the best it looks fucking terrible like and it, on the it list. looks it looks it's filmed because we didn't did it like a tv movie like it looks like if you rewatch it now on your 4k tv it looks like a fucking tv movie like it's, it's especially hard. the scene that we all lost our shit about which was the 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 uh the one shot yeah. Of them uh, in front of uh, what is the Grand Central Terminal, and uh, they where it's look the first time we saw it, that shit was dope. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I mean, with a lot of these movies with the CGI and everything, past five years, unless you're like a true visionary, your shit is gonna look dated. Yeah, and I like I'm picking shit for how it felt to me in the moment, like That's not fine. yeah. That's so fine. shit's um, gonna be different, but for y'all, but it's cool. <laughs> So for me, um, I actually have Guardians of the Galaxy at number eight for me. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite MCU movies. <laughs> um, the other, uh, it was, it was, it almost mm -hmm. made it to seven. Seven is really close between this and what I have for seven, um, just because it's it's more so about how seven impacted the MCU later on. Um, but we'll get to that uh, later. Um, but Guardians is I, I love Guardians. I can rewatch it. It's a good comedy. Like it's it it was good. I love the fucking soundtrack. I can listen. I I used to listen to the soundtrack <laughs> like <laughs> at work. <laughs> like after it came out, I just used to listen to the soundtrack at work. Just it's give me really shit? funny. Um, and the characters are great. What? Can you not just give me shit for putting Guardians? No, I didn't give you shit. Can I, I gave you shit. 
Oh, both cool. of the movies that you just that you guys just had are going to be said by me later on in this uh, list. Yeah, mm-hmm. but right, that's right. how I am with I Black understand. Panther and Winter Soldier. Right. Like, I don't. I, I'm Winter Soldier is much higher on my list. Um, and I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so that's why I got Guardians at eight. Hmm. You start so, seven. All right, let's. I'll go. To, I'll go to seven. Just like just straight segue. So for me, seven is Age of Ultron. Um, it's nigga. Aged, what? It's aged. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> it's it's aged impeccably well. It's a great rewatch. Like when I when Age of Ultron first came out, I was like, oh, this shit isn't even better than the Avengers. And like rewatching it years later, like fam, it set up Civil War. It set up Ragnarok. Like it's so impactful in the MCU. It's very impactful as far as everything that came after it. It foreshadowed Tony's death. It foreshadowed the reason that Tony dies in uh, in Endgame. Like it's it's just a good movie for me. For me, okay, wait, hold on. So K dot, you make it seem like Age of Ultron's like top three. No, no, fuck you, you. are not I, on the I'm list. In his top I'm not. No, Age of Ultron's not on my list. But I will admit okay. this. I've been going back like with Disney Plus. It's really easy if you just want something on the background to throw something in the MCU on. Um, mm-hmm. I revisited Asia Ultron, I'd say about a month ago, about a month, month and a half ago. It is better than I remember it being when I first watched it. I also feel the same way about the Iron Man 2 and 3. They're not as bad as I remember them being. Especially, I, I think it's the uh, Shane Black Iron Man, which is, uh, I think it's three. Iron Man 3 was good to me. That, I, enjoyed I did not like that movie when it first came out. But I, I will did. admit, Iron Man 3, when you realize, all right, this is what Shane Black's doing, it's fucking dope. Um, it, that's what, that's the thing is that we're getting this and it, I don't want to make it seem as though I think any of these movies are bad. I, I, I don't except Thor Dark World, but it's like, and Captain America, the first Avenger, but go ahead. Jesus. The first Thor movie. I also don't love, um, the, God, it felt like a TV movie. Um, there's just, yeah, I mean, I, Age of Ultron, I don't want to just, I top 10 for me. Yeah. 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 See, it, it hurts because of what my number seven is. Go ahead. Endgame. Ooh. So this is why Ooh. it starts to hurt because I'm like, Endgame and Asia are all trying in the same territory. What the fuck is this bullshit? Like, I'm they like, are because <laughs> Endgame is fucking three hours and it's two different movies. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. <laughs> Endgame to me, the reason Endgame is at number seven is not because I think it's the best overall film in any way in the MCU. But if I'm talking about moments that I had in a movie theater that are like defining moments to me, Endgame probably has more than any other movie I've any other movie experience I've ever seen. When, I agree. when Captain America, that last portion of Captain of of, uh, of Endgame, when Captain America pulls up, picks up Milner. It's I've never had an audience react the way that it reacted during that scene. And uh, the, on your left, and everybody got tears in their fucking eye. Like it was dope. But there's a lot of problems with Endgame. The fact it, that the entire off. thing gets set off by a fucking rat in the storage unit and we just overlook it is weird, right? And then, hold on. The, the, the fact that the van at the end of the movie can't start and yet that bitch has been sitting for five years in the storage unit and a rat steps on that motherfucker. I'm just saying, there's some problems with Endgame and especially because of another movie that I have higher up on it that is connected to it, one is absolutely superior to the other. I just want to say, Endgame has the three best Marvel moments in Marvel his- in MCU history for me. Um, uh, Iron Man, um, I Am Iron Man, um, oh, yeah. On Your Left, and Mjolnir. Like, when, when, when Cap picked up Mjolnir, like, I was like, I was like, I was hyperventilating in my fucking seat <laughs> in the movies. <laughs> like, nerdy, I, I almost stood up. I almost stood up in the in, in game. I would compare in game to the Dark Knight Rises for um as far as like what you're talking about. Plot holes, still a good movie. Yeah. Great character. Like, but you see the plot holes and you're like, uh, how the fuck is the get MacGuffins? Back to it's the like it's how the, the fuck easy. did you get back right. to Gotham? I saw that guy fall down. Batman never hit him. <laughs> and it's just like it, it has shit like that where you're like, but if somebody told me Endgame was their favorite MCU movie, it's fine because of those moments. Yeah. It's the same. It's it's how I feel about the Dark Knight Rises because when Bane fucking breaks breaks Batman's back, I'm like, oh, this is this is all I fucking wanted. Like, this is all I needed. Like, I'm nerding out. 
And so, like, it's one of my favorite Batman movies. But yeah, so I, I'm I'm fine with Endgame where you have it. I have it a little bit higher, but it's it it has for me the top three Marvel moments MCU history. James. Okay. He's Time to be whelmed. Time to be whelmed. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> Captain Marvel. No, I hated that movie. I love Captain Marvel a lot. I, I actually it. hate it. I, I, that movie was stupid. I think Wonder Woman is overrated as fuck. I, I love hate that one too. 84 is bad. Very bad. Yeah, 84 is terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I don't want to rewatch it ever. I, would yeah. never, I don't think I would rewatch yeah. it. I'm I like Kristen Wiig. That's a weird pick. I love I love, I love Gal Gadot. Well, never mind. No, I don't. All right. My number seven, Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> oh, good pick. That's solid. Good That's your pick. best one. Well, good fuck job. you guys, because you guys are going to hate the rest of my fucking I, I, I'm sure I am. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. I am. Because there's a lot of movies that should be lowered down that you've already said. <laughs> so I'm <trying. laughs> All right. So, um, um, Spider-Man Homecoming was... was I mean, it was like it's like oh shit, Spider Man got it like an like in the actual like MCU, not all the other what was it, Tobey Maguire shits, which was yeah. great at the time. But then it's like, all right, I want the what's the next thing? Because you're not bringing him <laughs> along, but they are now. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. So do you do you like uh, Homecoming more than like the original Tobey Maguire films, or like you're like just you know kind of trade them out? To be honest, I haven't seen like the the Toby films in a while. Yeah, I just think about the. I forgot what movie it was. No, never mind. But anytime I think of Toby, I think about him being like the actual character in like another movie. That yeah, I forgot what it was. I I will remember it. But okay. um, yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen like Toby's Spider Man's in forever. So I don't really even First care. Two are point. fucking good. The first two were really good. I rewatched the second one recently, probably like a couple months ago, and it's it's the not uh, as good as I remember, but it's not bad still. No, but that's the other thing is that you look at that another series that I've gone back at, and that's why I think that we might need to revisit this with all Marvel movies. Is that I remember having certain thoughts about the X Men movies that now rewatching, I feel a lot different than I did when I watched them originally. Like X Two and X One. I X two I do, last time I watched X two, ah. which was about six months ago, not as good as I remember being, and I thought it was great. I remember used to thinking it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd agree with that, but it's, it, it was a classic to me at the time. And Logan made everything okay. look terrible. So, have you guys seen Molly's Game? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Uh, I was, I was literally thinking that James. I was like, yeah. because he's the character. He's player he's the, X. He's the asshole. Yeah, he's player X. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I was thinking about every time. Like I think of Toby McGuire. And anytime I think about the old Spider Man, I think of that old white dude saying, Peter, like just laying down. <laughs> he goes Uncle Ben. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben's dying. Peter. Words. Wow. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, like, I'm, Uncle ben. yeah, I'm done. <laughs> and Peter was soft as fuck, man. How you let the dude that smoked you? Yeah, whatever. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay. K Dot. Word six. Yeah. Doctor Strange. I fucking love this movie so much. Um, the What they did visually in it to actually make you feel as though you're tripping fucking balls and you don't need to touch any drugs, to me was amazing. I think Benedict Cumberbatch is arguably the best actor in the MCU. I also think that um, Tilda Swinton is fucking incredible and scary looking uh, no matter what role she's in. Um, <laughs> that just countered your other point, but go ahead. Like, hold on, what? <laughs> well, you said... You think that ben, that Ben is, and the I best. named Tilda Swinton. And then you named Tilda, Tilda Swinton Tilda. is fucking weird, man. She's uncomfortable. She's great, she, she's great, she's but she's very uncomfortable. She has the range. She she's doing weird things. shit. She has the most range. I get, I get, but, but even at uh, Chuwelty Ojev, Ol, I can't, I can never say his name. Uh, Chuwelto. Ol, I can't. I don't. Ol, 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 but you know what I'm true. talking about. Um, yep. He's dope as shit. I think Doctor Strange just has, as far as origin stories go, in the MCU itself, I only have, I guess, one true origin story above this for the rest of my account. Down. Um, I just love what it did. And I also think hindsight, the what if Doctor Strange episode is one of my favorite things that Marvel has ever done. 
I haven't seen it, but don't no, don't spoil it. I'm not, I'm not, but it's but it made me. I'm behind re- on one of them. I haven't caught. I haven't watched it. After yet. watching it, I had to rewatch Doctor Strange, and I fell in love all over again. And it is a travesty <laughs> they haven't brought Rachel McAdams back to do things because she's fucking dope as shit too. Like it's just love- so many good things happening in that movie, and the Dormammu at the end in the loop, it just raised the stakes because anybody that knows comic books know when Doctor Strange is now here. We've already saw one of my problems with Age of Ultron is like Scarlet Witch. I just when you introduce her, you don't know what to do with her. So you just say she doesn't understand her powers and just got to stick her over in the corner where Doctor Strange comes in. And it's like, hold on, this motherfucker can turn back time. <laughs> like, like what and how are we going to ground this within the MCU? And I thought that they did a phenomenal area letting you know there's shit way beyond what it is you've seen before. I'm gonna have to rewatch it. It's well, I've rewatched it recently. I, I watch the movies all the time for the most part. <laughs> it's they're like they're my favorite go-to's for background noise. Like yeah. it, I'm okay. I'll pick a MCU movie for background noise, and then I'll sometimes like get into them and rewatch them. Um, but I I don't love Doctor Strange as much as some others. Um, I think it's I think people like it because of the gimmick of like oh it's like Inception. Look at the, all the little shapes and like it's like a and, and it's <laughs> and like no bro like. As a movie, as a movie, it's okay. It's okay. Like as a movie, like it's a, it's a, it's not different from any of the other origin stories. They just added the gimmick of the oh, look at the building folding into the other building. Hey, we're different than the other MCU movies, but it's not really different. I and need you to problem. rewatch. I need you to watch the What If Doctor Strange episode. That's what I was about After to say. After you do that, I need you to you'll then like rewatch Doctor Strange and let's rehash this conversation. Yeah, you'll like it more. Like, I, don't, I don't dislike it. I just no, no, don't no, no. Like I'm saying you'll like it more. People. I think you no, I'm going further. I think you'll love it. Well, okay. I'm gonna okay. All right, I'll do it this weekend. Okay. Cool. All right. So my, awesome. six. my turn for number six. You can go, yeah. Uh I put Black Panther at number six. Um so I say that like I like the like of course you said like people having cookouts and shit before the movies that was great um going there i think i saw it like two three times um same same i saw it like just i only did like in the moment to support just because like it's like the first time you see like a black superhero you know like on the big screen but you know what i mean please don't just really the first time Hmm? don't disrespect blank man i know (laughs) i'm a meteor man i I, I fuck with that movie too I, I like Meteor Man, Blank I'm a Man. Yo, man. Meteor Man is ass. <laughs> Fuck on, you, Don look, Cheadle would go ahead, motherfucker. It's like dope, <laughs> but it's no, it's, it's like a, it's a ba- it's a good bad movie. Like oh, it's I a like childhood go to man. Yeah, it's like I like watching it. My barber yeah. had a poster, a Meteor Man movie poster that I remember just staring at when I got my hair cut. I almost <laughs> thought about being Meteor Man for uh, Halloween. Don't do you that. should. <laughs> All right, you gotta be Blank Man then, fam. Oh, that could be arranged. <laughs> hey, I, I give you guys, right. y'all get to teach black history because everybody gonna ask you what the fuck you got on. Yeah. <laughs> they should well, remake. Black. All right, and look, Kate, I gotta be a golden lord, bro. <laughs> I, I, I be the shit out of golden lord. Oh, you be a good golden lord. <laughs> my shit. You got the rings and shit. It's nineties, like, like light skins, evil. Like I'm all about it. <laughs> 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 but um, in regards to the Black Panther, right? The, the thing that pushed it up further up the list for me was the fact that um, in the movie, it had the, you know, like the deep uh, thought that you take away from the movie. Mine's was, you look at Killmonger's character and how he was upset with like Black Panther and everybody from Wakanda for not coming over to get him. Sort of. Yeah, like, so I never thought about it that way. And like in college, I had a bunch of friends from like Africa and everything like that. And I still do. But I just started thinking about it. I was like, yeah, like when they came and took us from there, why didn't nobody come and get us? Guns. Well, that's kind of the point of the movie. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> that's kind of the point of the movie, though. No, no, like I agree with you. I'm yeah, with that, you yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. like you can you can say that, but at the same time, it's like it's thought provoking. Like, so I start. I actually had to sit down and actually think about it. Like, I never thought about it ever, and it's like, oh shit. Hmm. I guess I so didn't like, have that thought necessarily. That that exact thought. It was yeah, on the but, periphery. Yeah, and then um, I love the. 
the line at the end of the movie, like saying, like, put me in the ocean, the rest of my ancestors that, you know, in the ocean, like walking on water or whatever. Um, that was great. Not, not walking on water. But... I know, but like, I'm thinking <laughs> about the Lupe song. I'm thinking about the Lupe song. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Question about that line, though. Where Hold on, is... before, you, before, you, before you say this. Before you say this. on water. But before you, you say this, Kate, I, I just want to say there was a tweet like literally a few days ago that talked about how like <laughs> that line had black people in shackles because it's not that deep. Campbell's. It's not really that deep. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's, like when I heard the line and she like, ooh, that's some gay. Hold on. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Like, it's, like, it's, not something it's like, like, it's like how, it's many hard, sla- how many slaves were like, I'm opting out of this and just jumped like it's just I don't think that happened quite often. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> we saw no, the shackles. Know. I saw Amistad. No, oh, what, what's the number? <laughs> oh, you saw this. Okay. I, I don't know, fam. All right. So whatever. But I don't really care as much in regards to the fact that Killmonger died, like in the movie, like at the time. Because I mean, like you have other you have other movies where the the main character dies at the end, and people think it's amazing. I'm not gonna list them because I don't know off the top of my head, but I know that's a thing. Yeah, you that is a, a thing. It's huh? a thing. But one of the main characters, like you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's why it's number six for me. Okay, um, just a quick segue. Uh, actually, Black Panther is number six for me too um it's uh it used to be in my top five i think uh the number five pushed it out um it's a good really good movie it's basically like kind of like lion king (laughs) um i enjoyed it Uh, i think that like i remember when i watched it it was great when it came out like i just it's one of the ones that i rewatch um i feel like the first half of black panther is better than the second half um very because the first half is very strong second half isn't bad but it's just uh that first half with i think <clears throat> you know the fight um between him and killmonger um the fight between him and baku really good it was like it was like watching fucking you know a lot of people agreed and compared it to you know fucking different um fraternities like when the all mm-hmm. the different tribes came out and that's what it felt like to me yeah. um like uh it was like you know a part of black culture but it's not even just just as a movie despite all the black shit just as a movie i just think it's number six i do as you were saying that there is something that i am reminded about black panther that did bother me during the time and let me know if i'm by myself on this the cgi is not great in that movie no it's not it's not like the the the, the main fight to me is kind of hard like it gives me like it's not as bad as matrix is neo versus agent smiths but it's like when i'm watching it i'm clearly seeing that like all right, they didn't have the same budget here as they might have for other things. When you were talking about, like, you know, the Killmonger dying and, like, Killing Claw, I'm like, that shit didn't matter to me. What mattered to me was that Ryan Coogler needed to learn how to film a CGI fight. Yeah. Um, and because, like, then that's kind of, that's another one of the reasons why that first half is better because, like, if they had, I wanted them to do another, like, maybe not, like, tribal fight, but, like, all right, so, because they were in the tr- little train shit, like, make, I, no more, no power, no powers. No powers, just fight them one on one again and, and win your rematch. But like that's what they should have done. And like I think Marvel has a problem with trying to CGI too much shit and do too many big action set pieces. But that's a conversation for another day. Especially in Black Widow, it was fucking unnecessary. Um, because she's not a fucking superhero. But whatever. I was high when I watched that one. I, I really like Black Widow. I liked it. It almost it was number it's number eleven for me, actually. It's uh, it's I, I need to and I, it. Florence Pugh is one of my favorite human beings on the planet. So has been for uh, a few years. So Kata, you did your number six already? Yeah, Doctor Strange. All right, shall I go with number five just to get this out the way? Go ahead. First Avenger. The first we Avengers was... movie, or did you say the, like the first Avenger? No, Captain America. No. First Avenger. We already you already like killed me for it, so that's where it is. Why? If there are 25 MCU movies, the first Avenger is not in my top 20. I just want to say that's all I got. That's just my preference. That's fine. Just my, just my preference. That's all. I'm not shitting on your preference. I'm shitting on his preference. It's not in the top you, kind of, you both are. <laughs> like, you, you both are just saying that you're not. But it is what it is. <laughs> Look, listen. I am prepared to already get killed in the comments anyway. 
So I don't I don't Five. care at this point. Yeah, that's where it is, man. Look, let's just move on. Go ahead. Let's I just just move on. understand. Where where do you have do you have Iron Man? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, need to, I just look, I need to just the rest go of the ahead, fam. Just All who's right. next with go, number five? <laughs> hey, I, I'm gonna go while you sit in awe. <laughs> um Number five for me is Endgame. <clears throat> I talked about it already, so I won't. This won't be long. Top three moments, um, but it's also three hours fucking long, and it should be like two hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a really good movie, um, and I enjoy it. And it's also three hours long. <laughs> All right, Kada. I'm actually I'm doing some. Uh, what I was really thinking about is I think I want to switch my five and four. And I'm I'm making my final decision right now. Okay. So I'm gonna say my number five. Fuck it, Iron Man. <clears throat> the first Iron Man movie. Um, I don't people think people understand quite. And maybe it's higher for some of you. I'm guessing it's gonna be Keem higher for you higher. Totally understand it. I get it. I also mm-hmm. understand if I catch flack for where it is. I have number four compared to number five, but. I, what they did and what John Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. did birth the entire MCU the way that yep. we know it. And the fact that you could have somebody like Favreau that could still get his artistic vision out and have this vessel in Robert Downey Jr. to do so and them working together and still please the studio and come up with an actual legitimate project that set the tone for just cinema for the next 20 years is incredible. This the feat is incredible, but even beyond that, and the feat and the legacy of what the movie is, it's just a dope flick, man. From start to from start to finish, it's just dope. Like it starts off, just you're there, you're right there, you're fucking in it, and then they start doing some of the flashback shit. You're like, what the fuck is happening? Quite right now, I think the only thing that ends up being bad to me is the fight at the end, which is like we've always said as far as the Marvel CGI shit. But where I don't give it as much shit, it was the first one. So it's, it not as, feel, it's not super. It's not that. It's not bad. super bad, but I don't it's like. Not, to I, me, it's not as bad as uh Black Panther. It's not, but it, it's not. But the thing to me is that it it does get formulaic, where it's just, hey, there's a guy who has the exact same powers as you do, just oh, slightly yeah. different, and you guys now have to fight. It's like, oh, yeah. uh So, but it was the first one to do it, so it felt really fresh. It felt really original, and the end of Iron Man where he's got the cheeseburgers whatever, and it's i i am iron man and it fucking cuts was like oh they just changed the whole paradigm and it was so it was just it's so dope okay all right okay so at number four who wants to go with four i'll go team did you did you do your five yeah five is in game for me i did five Uh, i'll do four since i was struggling with back and forth on them okay the first Avengers movie is my number four. Now I understand looking back as far from a CGI standpoint and saying it doesn't hold up, but I think there's a lot of that with certain aspects of the MCU. Um, the just movies in general just tend to not hold up unless, like I said, you're a true visionary. That's why the Matrix still kind of works, but some other movies don't. Um, the first Avengers to me is basically just I didn't think they could pull it off, and I, I felt I remember feeling so satisfied after it happened that hey they could have us be on this journey for as long as we were. And I think people forget how long we had to wait in all of those movies that came out and we had never experienced anything like this quite before. And the fact that they did it and they pulled it off, I still think if you're comparing to like Civil War, even Endgame or Infinity War, or no, Endgame and Civil War, Tony and uh, Steve's fight in Avengers to me feels better than any of the other movies. Like, it just feels more grounded. Like, them fighting back, not not physically fighting, but their, their back and forth, to me, was just always dope. Like, it, that, to me, was this, it, it just felt better. And also, another part of Avengers that I, I just fucking love, Hulk, us seeing Mark Ruffalo's Hulk, and just seeing that, like, we don't have to get another origin story now that they recast it, and we don't need to see everything. I think everybody felt satisfied in just knowing when Banner finally unleashes the Hulk, He's always angry. Just that line. That's the that's the key. I'm always. It's just fucking cool. I, I I remember loving that movie and Loki. There's a reason he keeps popping back up. He's fucking dope. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll go and then James, you can go. 
Um, so four for me is Ragnarok. Um, I, Ragnarok is one of those ones where it could be three. It could be two as well. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's four for me. <laughs> it's definitely not two. Okay, so here's the I'm thing. I'm going back Ragnarok. and like looking at my list and like when you got say shit, I'm like, oh, fuck. This, this we, didn't, <laughs> we didn't really get into this part, but like Ragnarok is one of the, from a plot and storyline perspective, it has probably like it's top five in terms of most serious things that happen, like in, like throughout a movie. Like they they went with the comedy route with it, which is which made sense because of the o- other two Thor movies were so shitty um, and they tried to be a little bit more serious. Um, and so Ragnarok kind of it was a breath of fresh air. You know, they, they, they played up Chris Hemsworth, you know, being good at comedy. And like they played up that him and uh, Mark Ruffalo relationship was great. Him and Hulk fucking loved it. The fights loved it. Ta- Taika Waititi, great. He directed that shit. Like he he fucking killed it. Um, but like from a serious perspective, like a lot of things pl- happened that led to Thor's depression. Really, <laughs> based off of that movie, like dad dies. Like you found out your sister's evil, you lose your fucking eye, <laughs> like you get banished, like, and then you have to leave your fucking homeland. And then <laughs> at the end of the movie, oh shit, there's Thanos. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, if if they took a, a serious route with that movie, like just not as much comedy, like it could have been a still a good movie. Like it would have been like a different vibe. But I like the vibe that they went with. It's a really good movie, easy to rewatch, easy to rewatch. Rewatch value is high up there for me with Ragnarok. Um, and I just, I love that fucking movie. Okay. So on you, here we go. All right. You you guys already know this is where this one's at. And you guys are upset already. So don't get upset again, please. Okay. Civil War. <laughs> Civil War? Yeah. That's not bad. What All number right. are we on? Four. Four. Yeah. That's not bad. I know a lot of people that love Civil War. I love Civil War. Civil War is probably the movie I've gone back to and rewatched a lot. Maybe more yeah. often than not. Yes. Um, a lot of shit earlier. It's higher up for me. Okay. Hold on. Whoa. Civil War is still to be unleashed for you? Yeah. Oh. I love Civil War. I see. I think Winter Soldier is the best and it's, I think it, I, of the Captain America movies. I, I get it. Uh, whew, okay. All right. Well, so, based off that statement, I'll go with my number three, which is Winter Soldier, um, and still to come, Civil War. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, um, number three, Winter Soldier. Uh, despite what K Dot was talking about, I think it was. It's definitely like a tonal change uh, for for the MCU. Um, and it just when the Russo brothers came in, like it was like, oh shit, they can make actual movies. Like because the the other movies were kind of more. It's like touching playing to your you know your comic book maybe you love the comic book shows maybe you love comic books growing up or whatever it's more fantastical um but like this was an actual movie and like to to also agree with it's not necessarily fucking like i don't know like it's more independent not independence that it's more like enemy of the state than some of the other movies that you named it's like enemy of the state light um it is a political thriller but it's a lighter political thriller political thriller um nothing in it is like super surprising where you're like oh shit man no i didn't know samuel jackson would would not be dead like i am so shocked like it's not like that like i don't love it for that i loved it because the one soldier is one of the best mcu villains when he was a villain um and i thought that like <clears throat> the tone of the movie was a really good tone. They managed, like, again, the difference between this and a Ragnarok type of movie where Ragnarok is more comedy and this is more serious. Um, they managed a great balance with their tone. They could have taken this tone and put it in Ragnarok and it would have worked too. Um, and that's why I kind of love Winter Soldier and it's number three for me. It could be a movie without, like, that would have been a movie without, like, Captain America. You could have, it didn't have to be superheroes. I would have watched it. I, I'm just ready to. I'm ready to yell about civil war when that comes for you. Okay, go ahead. It's it's three. You want to go now and let James go last? You uh, for three? Yeah, I can. Uh, number three, Thor Ragnarok. Um, pretty much everything you said. It's just, but you you missed out one very very key point. Jeff Goldblum's in it, and he's fucking amazing. 
He's I'm fucking gotta, amazing. I'm not a go so bro. good. He My girlfriend's good. not either, and I don't understand it how you cannot be a fan of. Jeff I don't Goldblum. know where people like got into being Jeff Goldblum stands. To be honest, I didn't really. Okay. It's always been. Caveat: I never really watched the Jurassic Park movies, so that's, maybe that's, that's where that's where. Yeah, it you're missing well, out a bunch of Jurassic Park. Day. Independence Day, he's dope as shit, and then like also. It. But then you even go back to like the Fly and shit. Like he's I been like around. The fly. The fly is what is crazy. wrong with you then? What are you talking about? I don't stand him for that though. Like, did you ever cool. get into the uh, FX show The League? No, no, I didn't. He's great, man. He's fucking I'm so good. I'm gonna um, watch that. Yeah, it, it, it's Ragnarok. Ragnar- huh? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, sir. No, nah, Q did. <laughs> Ragnarok to me is it, it. A lot of what you were saying came. It's so fucking funny. And the Taika Waititi allows to be weird with it, right? Like, there are moments where Jeff Goldblum's just being weird, but it's funny, and there's shit that just shouldn't work with all the terrible shit that's also happening towards what's in the MCU. Like, it's literally the full... It's the biggest setup movie for Infinity War and yet. We're right there. Because, I mean, it, it starts right at the end of that, right? Like, Hulk... Is fucking in the in the uh, Doctor Strange's uh, I forget what they call the, uh, the 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 sanctuary. Yeah, it's it's just to me. There's so many good things with it as far as how funny it is, but also just how far it moves the story along and where we're looking at as far as character arcs. When it comes to Thor, when it comes to Loki, which now looking at Loki's character arc in Ragnarok, when you then put it on the Loki TV show, like there's just so much I'm learning about all these guys and these characters as we're going through this flick and the odes to so many movies of the past when uh, he's going through the tunnel, it's 2001, a space odyssey, a little bit of clockwork orange. Like there's just so many dope things happening in that flick. It is, I think it's on TBS like twice a week. I know every time I go to my girlfriend's house, Thor Ragnarok's on TV. Or it's TNT. It's on a fucking Is it TNT? Yeah. It's on all the time. And you know what? Every time it's on, we at least watch it to a commercial break easily. Yeah. Like yeah. it's it's just it's so thoroughly rewatchable, and I remember my girlfriend said she hated it, and I'm like, "What is wrong with you?" And we watched it. Oh, TNT. She had to admit, "Yeah, I didn't see it before. It's, it's really good. It's funny." And I'm like, "Yeah, exactly." <laughs> All right, James. We on number three? Yes, my guy. Well, I was debating between three and two, but I'm just gonna stick with it. Okay. And Family War is number three for me. You, you, you're, you're fair. Your feelings yeah, are valid. Right. Your feelings are valid. Okay. You can go ahead because I'm just happy that I ain't getting no <laughs> shit. This time, oh, that's fine. That's fine because it's it's okay. Uh, I'll go. So I'll start with number two because I know K dot has a lot to say. Number two for me is Civil War. Um, Civil War is one of my favorite Marvel MCU movies. It's one of the most rewatchable along with Ragnarok. You can put it on anytime. It, it introduced fucking Black Panther. Um, and it's it's one of those, it's it's like, it's Avengers 2.5. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's Avengers 2.5. And then I'm, I'm a guy who always loves when the heroes face each other. <laughs> so like, <laughs> like, that's my bag. <laughs> and they did, and the fights were good. They introduced Spider-Man. Like, um, it, there's so many fucking moments in this and it's so good. And it set up some things for later. Like this fucking set up fucking uh, Captain America, Captain America and uh, Black Falcon. Captain America. Uh, Captain America. <laughs> America. America. <laughs> uh, Falcon. Um, hard and Warrior Soldier. <laughs> um, it set up like, <clears throat> you know, well, uh, the Avengers uh, Age of Ultron kind of set up the conflict uh, for Civil War, but man i just love civil war it's a it's a it, it kept that tone that that political thriller tone from uh winter soldier but not as uh not as much about that um and it's 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 still impactful in the mcu i don't hate civil war i do think you use that pseudo bullshit about how it's political <laughs> you drop an enemy of the state with a fucking marvel movie i'm just saying check yourself all right enemy like, of the it's not good enemy, enemy of the state, state is fucking good, good. It's good, but it's not that fucking good in comparison to a bunch of other political When's movies. the last time you've seen Enemy like, of the State, though? Huh? Enemy of the State, to me, got better over time because of what we then learned about the NSA and after the Patriot Act and all those other things make that movie, when you figure out what time it was made, 
that much better and more rewatchable to me is just it's seeing basic huh it's good but it's basic just I'm like also, I'm, I'm biased my friends my friends in that movie he plays uh, he plays Will Smith's uh, son he bodied a friend in the movie his son's friend whatever um okay. yeah okay. the school that they dropped off was my elementary school I had a story about that once or whatever look uh Civil War to me is one of those movies that's a lot of fun until you stop and think about shit that's happening and like the entire I wish that Doctor Strange huh? but go ahead I wish you would have thought about what's happening in Doctor Strange. You're one of those people that get confused at Inception, ain't you? You fucking asshole. Like the um the, the no, the, I love I loved Inception. It's great. I love Doctor Strange, but you, uh, Tenet. you need to watch What If. Don't talk you about Doctor. Don't you need talk. To watch Tenet. I've seen Tenet. I love Tenet. Okay. I fucking love Tenet. Although I have problems with uh, John David Washington. Whenever you want to hear them, I'm more than willing to share my opinion. What you got wrong with him? What's well, wrong with John? Do you want me to get into it now? Would you like? No, I don't. I don't. Go ahead. I don't. don't. Go ahead. I'm interested as fuck. (laughs) The Civil War shit to me is just a lot of the entire debate or the conversation. The the point of conflict between Tony and Steve to me just feels like it would be settled with a conversation easily. (laughs) Then there's just a lot of things as far as the the camera setup for the Winter Soldier killing Tony Stark's parents. I'm glad they had multiple angles on that dark ass road in the middle of fucking nowhere that we can get zoom in on exactly what the fuck happened when it came to his goddamn parents. I also think the 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 idea that you have Tony having an issue with all right where we we we've we've done all this hurt their kids getting hurt and then go recruit Spider Man and fucking want him <laughs> like it just okay so we're gonna go get this kid from Brooklyn and he's gonna go fight with me. Like what the fuck? Like where 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 is the moral like, where's the standing on it? I just thought that a lot of what they were trying to do for Civil War, especially when you understand and know what Civil War means in the comic books and how important a storyline it is in the comic books and how many people don't make it through in the comic books to have this thing happen. And it's, back. I'm just saying, when we yeah, read okay. I get it, but, but you do know, but you remember when you read Civil War when it was coming out, right? Like, yeah, when, so. That shit was impact. Like there is this thing where so once again, Civil War is not a bad movie. I don't want you to think I'm shitting on Civil War like it's a bad movie. It's really enjoyable. It's just one of those things where it's just a lot of what's happening in the plot bothers me. Okay, so but your points are like people who are like, I read the books and it's not like the books. Like I don't give a shit. Like it's not. No, it's not that. 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 And trust me, I'm not. I. I was gonna admit I hate that. those people. No, I'm not. I'm not that person. What I am saying is that there. If I'm seeing the movie version compared to the book, because I'm not a. I'm not a book over movies guy or anything like that. Yeah. I will say that there is a certain. If I see you haven't taken it there, that the book had. I'm not talking about like your world building or what this character development is. I'm saying take it there. It's my same problem with Walking Dead. The way they made the governor just this punk bitch in the Walking Dead compared to what he was <laughs> in the books. Like when Michonne wants to kill the governor, you understand he rapes her multiple times in the comic book. Where is in the show? I just don't like him. What the fuck is that? Like I just take it all the way there. In Civil War, if we're seeing the Avengers being ripped apart, I need it more to be more than it's just it's spat between them. I need people fucking dying. Who dies? Okay. Don't don't get no don't get me started on The Walking Dead, which is ass. Okay, the Walking like so it's, ass. They, Two fucking good seasons. It will be. One <laughs> and, really good season, arguably one okay, good season. First season is good. Frank Darabont was fucking running the show. Fucking John Bernthal. That's all I got. Fucking Punisher. That's my guy. And John he was Bernthal fucking shit. great as Shane. And man, he should have lived. It should have been Rick. He's right up the. <laughs> he's right up the street right now, shooting this new I David Simon show for HBO. It's fucking awesome. I love John. Whenever he's in something, I try to watch it. I love John Bernthal. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's my Civil War bit. I'm sorry. Okay. You gonna go with your uh, number two? Oh, uh, my number two is Infinity War. Um, okay. Infinity War to me is also a movie in which Jesus, man, like the idea that they introduced to us another character and gave us basically not an origin story, but a story about him being Thanos was smart as shit. I didn't see that coming necessarily when I first saw what was happening with the movie. But you really look at that is Thanos' movie. And um and and Brolin does such a fucking great job 
of getting that character through all the CGI and everything. It's Andy Circus level of um, just performance art. It, I just, I just, it, it's, there's so many good moments in it and just the weight and the gravity of leaving that movie theater. To me, if you're going to compare this movie to anything, Infinity Wars, Empire Strikes Back. You leave the movie and you're in a, fu- it's, you're in a bum. You're, you're just like, holy shit, I can't believe everything I just saw. I can't believe they just went there. And then you leave in the theater like, I just need more, please. And then you got Return of the Jedi. It was still a good flick, but it just doesn't live up to the emotional weight that the other movie carried. And that's to me is where Infinity War is number two. Okay. James? My number two is Iron Man. Um, <laughs> first movie came out. Um, that's probably the movie that I've watched the most um, in regards to any of them. Um, and the unveiling of the Audi R8. Like, I, got, I love cars. I got to say it. <laughs> it was awesome, man. Like, fam, like, if you look at whoever bought R8s at the time, like, it was because of that. I heard a story of a dude that um, out in California, um, he was like, yeah, I was sitting in my bed with my wife. We were watching Iron Man. Uh, we started drinking. And then I bought an R8 and woke up and was like, oh, shit, I actually did it. And he bought an R8 just because he's watching Iron Man. That panel on the side of the car is ugly as shit. I'm never going to take away from that. Carbon fiber like panel? No. I great. fucking hate that car. I, like I hate it. that. It just feels I so like random. It. I hate it. I hate nah, it. So nah. Nah. It's, it's I'm a huge Audi guy. Huge Audi guy. I don't. I, I always I'm not that panel. I, I do not like Audis as much anymore. I'm a Vol- yeah, I drive a Volkswagen. I'm a Volkswagen guy. Yeah, no. Nah, like... You lose the most money when you get an Audi. <laughs> like, out of all the cars that I've ever had, I lost right. the most money on Audi. It's going to take expensive out here. Uh, to keep up with, I mean, to maintain. Yeah. I don't um, mean like $10,000 a fix. Like, fuck out of here. All right. Yeah. Well, that was my number two. All right. So I want to go, James, you're number one, KDOT's number one, and I'll go last. My number one's in the game. Favorite movie out of all of it. Okay. Like, Fair. I feel like a lot of people that are watching will feel the same way, but you know. Yeah, for sure. Like I said earlier, like I, if it if it's anybody's favorite movie, I completely understand it. Yeah, it's like some great fucking moments, bro. <laughs> Top three. Yeah, it's like you you see all the 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 videos on Twitter of like all the reactions. Like for the the scenes in the movie and shit, when people like sneak recording and shit, like yeah, it, I mean, was that great? It was. It was. It was a moment. K dot. Am I going next? My yeah. number one Marvel MCU movie of all time. Do you guys know where I'm going with this? No. Any I, idea where I'm going with this? I can't remember. I'm trying to look at my list because you said you said some shit and you haven't said what I think you're going to say. Number one is Guardians of the Galaxy. And the reason I say Guardians of the Galaxy, when they announced the movie, being that I'm a co- I did like comic books, <laughs> my initial thought process was so what are you upset? This <laughs> that's why you're yeah, so upset. I was so upset. When they announced this movie, the my initial reaction to every one of my friends is this is the dumbest thing Marvel has ever thought about doing. This makes no sense. No one's gonna understand the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a fucking tree, a talking. I'm like, Damn, no one's ready for this movie and they knocked it out of the park like chris pratt the dude from fucking um parks and rec coming back and like it's just so much of this shouldn't work it shouldn't work and they did it and to me it kind of what i was saying about dr strange as far as setting this tone of how much bigger the world is you're in the galaxy let you know oh you care about your little avengers on your planet earth motherfucker you haven't seen anything yet. Like there are so many other things happening that do, that, you, that are so far beyond what's happening on your planet. I think they knocked it out of the park. Soundtrack, in, incredible soundtrack. That soundtrack still gets bumped for me all the time. Um, it's such a good fucking soundtrack. Chris Pratt kills it. Zoe Saldana kills it. Fucking uh, John C. Riley shows up and that motherfucker starts killing it. Like it's just so dope. And at the end, there's almost some last Jedi, Jedi in it. And the reason I say this, it ends in a fucking dance-off. It's like a fuck you to comic book movies 
He's like, fuck your CGI fight to a certain degree. We're going to have a fucking dance off to end this shit. That to me was just, it's comedic gold. And also the only movie to treat Drax properly, where Drax over time has just been this comic relief buffoon. I thought the only time that Drax was actually like grounded something that I thought he was more interesting a character was the first Gar- Guardians movie. It's a great, <laughs> and I Drax. love Drax. It's a great soundtrack. I mean, did you hold on? What'd you say? It's a great soundtrack. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I just looked at it because I never listened to it before, but I know these songs. I mean, it's an all star cast. It has Vin Diesel, and he has one of the best lines in the movie. I am grooving. No. Oh, we one? are group. Oh, we are group. Yeah, solid. Yeah, solid. <laughs> oh, also, Bradley fucking Cooper. He's good. It's rock. He's- That's just dope, man. <laughs> Guardians he- of the shit. It shouldn't have worked. It shouldn't have worked. <laughs> All right. So for me, I think it's obvious by this point, like Infinity War is my number one. I think it's unimpeachable as number one for me. It's K. I touched on this earlier. It had the most palpable ending. Like it was cathartic. <laughs> like, bro, like when it ended, it's just like, oh. like there was like, fucking silence in the movies i don't know if you guys have ever seen uh was it american sniper um yeah. it's, it was you know the end of american yeah. Sniper so yep. movies people were quiet as fuck and everybody was like oh it was just like that and this is a fucking comic book movie <laughs> american sniper is real <laughs> like that's that was a real life thing like bro we're talking about also great moments it just oh man so many great moments <laughs> so many great moments Thanos, so many bars. <laughs> like Thanos just has nothing but bars. And you touched on this. It is a Thanos movie. It's Thanos' movie. It's perfect. He was talking mad shit. Like, and if you rewatch Infinity War, having seen Endgame, when he tells Tony, I hope they remember you, it hits different. On yep. the rewatch. Yep. It yep. hits different. On the rewatch, it's like, <laughs> oh shit. I do hope they remember you, Tony. Like, <laughs> and they did. They did. It was fucking great, man. From start to finish, there's I don't have a complaint about Infinity War at all. There's nothing I would change. There's, I mean, obviously I could nitpick, but like I personally just don't have a complaint about it. From start to finish, Infinity War is fucking bananas. It's like two hours and 30 minutes, but it doesn't feel no like fluff. It, it, no it fluff. Doesn't, feel, doesn't feel like a two hour and 30 minute movie. It's so, yeah, Infinity War. I understand that being number one to me. The Guardians pick that I made was just to be a little different, but also I really do think it's just an incredible feat. But Infinity War is an impeccable film. It's just great, and it, it does not waste time. It starts off. We've got Tony in the fucking park. Doctor Strange shows up. Oh, we in it. We here. We here. We ain't, ain't no fucking. We here. Fucking Hulk comes crashing. We are here. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> like it's yeah. just. Go, 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 go. It's what, and you talked about like how like Civil War killed people, like it took people out. That's what Infinity War did. So they were saving that. Like they couldn't do it in Civil War. They did it in Infinity Like five people. They ain't gonna lost lost a couple. Like you lost, well, some people come back, but yeah, like people died. Did they choose the wrong time? It's the same reason why them killing Quicksilver in fucking Age of Ultron is didn't matter because no one knew who the fuck he was. They just kind of threw him out. It's just like, yeah, maybe you develop him a couple movies and then you kill him off. Like it's just one of those things that they just they get rid of certain people at the wrong time. That's that's one of my critical flaws with the MCU is that there are certain people that they just oh man we got to hold on to this. Which is what they did with Tom Hiddleston and Loki, right? We got to keep yeah. him. We got to keep him. We got to keep him. I think Yasili's claw, problem with Black Panther, that's somebody that should just exist. I don't need another fucking bat rock goddamn cameo. Give me some claw. <clears throat> but see, that's why I'm fine with it, because people need to die. I don't need to keep everybody. Like, everybody can't stay forever. Like, somebody's no, got to go. I get it. I'm just, there are certain people that I think, if if I haven't seen the complete of your arc, and I still think you have something there, I don't think Claw's arc finished. They just ended it. That's fair. That's fair. Killmonger, I'll listen to his arc ended. I'll listen to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. All right. What'd you say? WandaVision sucked. All right. Everybody. What is wrong with you? That's a wrap. We're going to cut.
unequal opinions. All opinions aren't equal, but sometimes James' opinions are wrong. It's and wrong. <laughs> that's you all. Like it? <laughs>